So, you found Duelist, but don't know how to play. In this video, we'll go over the absolute basics of the game. A Duelist match starts with only two opposing generals in play, which brings us to the objective of the game, to defeat the opposing general. Generals start the game with their maximum 25 hit points, and of course, when their life points reach zero, they're defeated and lose, while the general left standing is the victor of the match. If both reach zero as a consequence of the same game action, then it's a tie and the game's drawn. They can also move the default amount of two tiles per turn. Generals are combatants in the arena and all begin the game with the default two attack points. Attack by getting close to an enemy and issuing attack command. When you attack, you will deal your attack value to the enemy's health. Then they will counterattack, dealing their attack to you. You can think of the general as yourself, or your avatar on the game board. Your general alone, however, is not going to be enough to win the game. You will need to use other cards to support them. And to use them, you'll have to spend mana. As player 1, you begin the game with 2 mana cores, while player 2 begins with 3. You can spend the mana in your mana cores each turn, as well as getting a one-off increase from a unit taking one of the 3 mana tiles in the centre of the board. Each player, at the beginning of their turn, refreshes all their mana and gains an additional mana core, up to a maximum of 9. The mana cost is located beneath it in your hand, or on the top left of the card. If you have enough mana, you can spend it to use that card. Let's look at the different types of cards we can spend mana on. First is minions. Cast the minion onto a space nearby one of your friendly units and the minion enters play onto the selected tile. Like the general, they have attack and health, as well as most having the default to movement, so you can move and attack with them. However, minions are more disposable and likely to come and go defending in your battle. Minions and minion combat is likely to be the main way you interact with your opponent. The next card type is the spell. As before, if you have enough mana, you can spend some to cast the spell. These are single-use cards with a wide variety of possible effects, such as healing or damage, buffs or debuffs, destroy or transform effects, card draw, and more. Once resolved, it goes away. Finally is the artifact. This card type will always equip to your general, and while active, will empower them. You see the artifact now appears here with three pips, indicating its durability. Each time your general takes damage, the artifact will lose durability, and will break, losing the effect at zero durability. At the end of each turn, you draw two cards, and on your next turn, we'll have more mana to use. So spend your mana every turn and attempt to use tactics and strategy to best deploy your resources and bring the enemy general's health to zero. If you're new, this may be tough at first, but don't get discouraged, keep practicing, and you will get that sweet 